Butterflies. Today, Dr. Hamster is at Pepper and George's playgroup. Hello, everybody. Hello, Dr. Hamster. Dr. Hamster has brought an exciting creature to show us all. Can you guess what animal it is? Is it a whale? No, it's smaller than a whale. Is it an ant? No, it's bigger than an ant. Is it a big ant? It's a caterpillar. Wow! Lots of caterpillars. Yes. There's a stripey one. The stripes help it to hide in the grass. There's a furry one. <laughs> Can we stroke it? Uh, no, Molly. It might give you an itchy rash. The spotty one is eating a leaf. Yes. Caterpillars like eating leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Let's colour in our very own paper caterpillars. Hooray! <laughs> I'm doing a spotty one. <laughs> I'm doing an orange one. I think black and white stripes look nice. <laughs> well done, everyone. Now, who can tell me what this is here? It's a leaf. It might look like a leaf, but it's not. It is a chrysalis, which is a shell for a caterpillar to hide in while it sleeps. Ooh! Is it like a cosy bed? Sort of. But when you go to sleep and wake up in your cosy bed, you're still Peppa Pig. Yes! But when the caterpillar wakes up in its chrysalis, it has turned into something completely different. Can you guess what it turns into? A whale! A pirate! Has it turned into a super caterpillar? No, none of those. Look, it's moving! The chrysalis is hatching. Ooh, what is it? Dinosaur. It's not a dinosaur, George. It's a butterfly. The caterpillar has turned into a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> Who wants to decorate one of these paper butterfly wings? Me, 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 me. <laughs> All the children are making beautiful butterfly wings. <laughs> oh, lovely. Can we do a butterfly dance? Yes, but we don't start as butterflies, do we, children? No. no. What was the butterfly before it was a butterfly? A caterpillar. That's right. First, you should do the caterpillar dance. Yay! <laughs> You're all caterpillars wiggling around on the ground. <laughs> I'm the wiggliest caterpillar. Me too. I'm a super caterpillar. <laughs> and now it's time to go to sleep. Be very still, children. Imagine that you're nice and safe inside a cosy chrysalis. And you are changing into something different. Madame Gazelle and Dr. Hamster are secretly putting the wings on the children. Now it's time to wake up and open your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I've got wings! Me too! We're butterflies! <laughs> Pedro Pony is fast asleep. Vicky, Vicky, Pedro! <gasps> what is it, Mummy? Am I late for school? No, you are at school. Oh, I'm a butterfly. Nay. No. Yes, we're all butterflies. We are little butterflies who like to play. We flap our pretty wings and we play all day. We are little butterflies flying through the sky and we flap, flap, flap as we flutter by. <laughs> Peppa loves being a butterfly. Everyone loves being a butterfly. Lots of muddy puddles. <laughs> it is morning. Peppa and George are playing in the garden. Look, George, a lovely muddy puddle to jump in. <laughs> Peppa, George, come on, we're going out. Oh, but we wanted to jump in muddy puddles. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll find lots of puddles today. We're going for a lovely walk in the woods. Oh, are there 
puddles in the woods? Yes, I should think so. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Mummy Pig. Pig. Then let's go. <laughs> I love muddy puddles, splishy, splashy puddles. I love muddy puddles. La da dee da do. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived at the woods. Ah, I adore woodland walks. The birds singing, the dappled sunlight, the... Where are the puddles? There's one. Hooray! <coughs> Muddy puddles! Oh, this puddle is not very muddy. That's because it's got leaves and twigs in it. Not all puddles are muddy, Pepper. Hmm... This puddle is twiggy. And it's crackly. So what would you call it? A twiggy crackly puddle. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, I would have to agree. Woodland puddles are twiggy and crackly. Can we find a puddle that's a bit more sploshy? OK, but we'll need to go somewhere else. Why don't we go to the beach? Yes, the beach. Looking for muddy puddles Splishy, sploshy puddles Looking for muddy puddles A la da dee da do. <laughs> this is the beach <laughs> Look! Puddles! <laughs> oh, this puddle isn't muddy That's because it's made of sand and water So what shall we call it? It's not... Twiggy crackly, it is a scrunchy, crunchy puddle. <laughs> it certainly is. Beach puddles are scrunchy, crunchy. <laughs> Can we find more sorts of puddles? Let's try the playground. Yes, the playground. <laughs> Looking for muddy puddles. A la da dee da do. <laughs> this is the playground. Puddles! <laughs> what kind of puddle is this, Peppa? It sounds splatty, so I will call it a splatty puddle. <laughs> Excellent description, Peppa. <laughs> Playground puddles are splatty. <laughs> Time to go home. What a fantastic day out that was. Yes, we've learned about all kinds of puddles. First, the twiggy crackly puddle. In the woods with the leaves and twigs. Then the scrunchy crunchy puddle. At the beach with the sand and water. And the splatty puddle. In the playground. <laughs> <laughs> it's sad we didn't find any muddy puddles. <laughs> I know where to find the best muddy puddles. Pepper and George have arrived back home. <laughs> muddy puddles! <laughs> so, Pepper, what do you call this puddle? It is splishy and splashy sploshy. A splish, splash, splosh muddy puddle. No, Daddy! It is the bestest puddle in the world, so I will call it... A pepper puddle! <laughs> Peppa loves jumping up and down in pepper puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in pepper puddles. Mr. Potato's Fruit and Vegetable Quiz. Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. It is good to eat five fruit and vegetables every day. Children? Mr. Potato has come to find out how much we all know about fruit and vegetables. We know everything about fruit and vegetables. And I know everything about carrots. Good, because today we are going to have a fruit and vegetable quiz. Ooh! What is a quiz? A quiz is where I ask you a question, and if you know the answer, you press the buzzer. <laughs> Ah! We will need two teams. Peppa, Rebecca and Pedro will be on one team. Susie, Danny and Mandy will be on the other team. <laughs> Let's begin! 
Our first question is, which of these is not a vegetable? Lettuce, radish, celery, or a car? <laughs> A car is not a vegetable. That is right. Hooray! Next question. A chocolate biscuit is a fruit. Yes or no? Yes, it's a fruit. My daddy eats five chocolate biscuits every day. Have another guess, Pedro. Is a chocolate biscuit a fruit? Uh, no. That's right. Hooray! And now, the fruit or vegetable questions. Fruit or vegetable? I hope he asks about carrots. What is a strawberry? Fruit or vegetable? A strawberry is a fruit. Yes! A watermelon. Fruit or vegetable? A watermelon is a fruit. Yes. A cabbage, fruit or vegetable? A cabbage is a vegetable. Yes. A tomato, fruit or vegetable? Vegetable. Fruit. A tomato is a vegetable, not a fruit. No. A tomato is a fruit, not a vegetable. Would you like to call a friend? Yes, please. Call a friend. Tell me, which of your friends might know the answer? Edmund Elephant. Then let's telephone Edmund the Elephant. Hooray! It's for you. Hello. Hello, Edmund. Is a tomato a fruit or a vegetable? Some people think a tomato is a fruit because it has seeds. But in the 19th century, the Port Authority of New York classified tomatoes as vegetables, which were subject to a 10% import tax. So I will say you are both right. Hooray! Well done, Edmund the Elephant. Are you ready for the last question of the quiz? Yes! I hope it's a question about carrots. Rebecca, you always talk about carrots. I like carrots. <laughs> Name that vegetable. Name that vegetable. I will describe a vegetable and you will tell me what it is. I am orange and I grow in the ground. What am I? Uh... Rebecca, what's your favourite vegetable? Uh, a carrot? That's right! A carrot! Hooray! <laughs> Both teams win the fruit and vegetable quiz! We win! Hooray! <laughs> Everybody wins with fruit and vegetables. <laughs> Buttercups, daisies and dandelions. Pepper and her family are visiting Cousin Chloe's house for the day. Hello! Hello! Hello, Chloe! <laughs> As it's such a sunny day, we thought we'd have a picnic in the garden. Oh, that would be lovely. Come on, Pepper and George. <laughs> Race you! <laughs> <laughs> this is a good spot for a picnic. Mmm, yes! <laughs> Ooh, look at all the flowers in the grass. Yes, let's pick them. <laughs> I will pick the buttercups. I will pick the daisies. <laughs> no, George, you need to find your own flower to pick. <laughs> Ooh. George has found some very pretty flowers. George, don't pick the flowers in the flower bed. Only pick the flowers in the grass. <laughs> Chloe is collecting buttercups. Pepper is collecting daisies. George is collecting grass. <laughs> Don't pick grass, George. Pick dandelions, like this one. <laughs> Pepper, George, would you like to see a trick with buttercups? Yes, please. <laughs> George, do you like butter? George does not know if he likes butter. Let me see. 
Yes, George, you do like butter. <laughs> How can you tell? If I hold a buttercup under George's chin and it shines yellow, that means he likes butter. <gasps> do it to me! Do it to me! Pepper, do you like butter? You do! <laughs> it's true! I do like butter! <laughs> I've got a trick I can do with daisies. Oh, what's that? If I put a daisy under your chin and it shines yellow, then, um, then that means you like cheese. Really? Yes. George, do you like cheese? <laughs> cheese. Yes, George does like cheese. Oh, there's no yellow. Are you sure you like cheese, George? <laughs> I think they are the wrong type of daisies. Oh. Don't worry, there is something we can do with daisies. We can make a daisy chain. What's a daisy chain? I'll show you. First you take a daisy and make a little hole in the stem. Take another daisy and thread it through that hole. Then make a hole in that daisy stem and thread another daisy through that hole. Look, a daisy chain. Wow. wow. Let me try. Make a hole in the stem, thread a daisy through. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> we can join them together to make one big daisy chain necklace. There! Now you are the Daisy Queen, Peppa. Yes, I am the Daisy Queen. Look at me, look at me! <laughs> no, George, I am the Daisy Queen. You need to be something else. Oh. George, you can be a lion. And these dandelions can be your mane. <laughs> George is a dandelion. No! George likes being a lion. <laughs> Children, come and get your food. <laughs> Look, everyone. I am the Daisy Queen, and this is George the Lion. Ooh. Ooh. And I know a trick to see if you like butter, Daddy. Really? Yes, you do like butter. Oh, <laughs> I do. That's very clever, Pepper. Can I try? Mmm, yes. Daddy also likes eggs and tomato, cheese and cake. Wow! How do you know all that, Mummy? Because he's got bits of egg, tomato, cheese and cake all down his front. Ho, ho! <laughs> Daddy Pig loves picnics. Everybody loves picnics. Recorders. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today you will learn how to play recorders. Ooh. Take a recorder each. <laughs> now, does anyone know how to play music on the recorder? You blow it like this. <gasps> oh! Oh! But that is not music, Pepper. That is a horrible squeaky noise. <coughs> to make music, we must play in a way that sounds... Uh, not horrible? Yes, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star. Lovely. You see, all music is made from notes. <laughs> We just play the notes in the right order. That looks easy. No, do it like this. No, like this. No, ah, stop, stop, stop. That was not music at all. No, that was a horrible noise. <laughs> and why was that? We weren't playing the right notes. And they weren't in the right order. So let us begin by learning the first note. <sighs> this is hard. It will get easier with practice. Now, this is the next note in our tune. 
Bravo! It is home time. The parents have come to pick up the children. And remember, practice, practice, practice! La, 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 la. Oh, somebody is learning how to play the recorder. <laughs> yes, Daddy. Madam Gazelle said I have to practice. Oh, yes. Practice makes perfect. Will you help me? Of course Daddy Pig will help you while I, uh, do some work in another room. Susie is practising too. Yes, that's it. La, 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 la. Very good, Danny. Shall we call that a day? No. Madam Gazelle said I had to keep on trying until I get it right. Pepper and her friends have been practising their recorders all week. They are giving a concert for the parents. Welcome to our concert. Ready, children? <gasps> Bravo! Bravo! Oh. Bravo! Haven't the children worked hard? Yes, it was a very good experience for them. It's hard to think it was only for a week of our lives. And now it's over. Children, for our next concert, I want you to learn this tune. Hooray! <laughs> Go home and practice, practice, practice. Pepper loves the recorder. Everyone loves the recorder. <laughs> World Book Day. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, tomorrow is World Book Day when we celebrate the wonder of books. I love books. Me, Me, too. Too. Me, too. Me too. Good. Please come to playgroup dressed as someone from your favourite book. Can I come as Super Potato? Is Super Potato in a book? No, he's on TV. No, it must be a character from a book. Can I come as someone from a fairy tale? Yes, it can be any book you like. Remember your costumes for World Book Day tomorrow. <laughs> mummy, Mummy! It's World Book Day tomorrow and we have to dress up as someone from a book. That sounds exciting. Who are you going to be, Pepper? You've got lots of books to choose from. Yes! <laughs> I can go as a sleepy princess from this book. Yes, I love reading you this story. <clears throat> Once upon a time there lived a... Or maybe I can go as the red monkey. <laughs> I love that book too. Hmm, I can't decide. All the books are good. Why not go as Funny Onion from the book that Mummy Pig wrote? No, Daddy. It has to be a real book, not Mummy's book. <laughs> Thank you very much, Peppa. Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. 47685931 most of Mummy Pig's book is one big long number. Yes, there were a few printing problems. How about this book? The Tiny Magic Fairy. Yes! <laughs> I'm a tiny magic fairy. <laughs> and George, what's your favourite book? I'm sure. Of course, your pop-up dinosaur book. <laughs> well, that's settled. George will go to World Book Day as a dinosaur and Pepper will go as a tiny fairy. Or maybe a duck. Quack, quack. It is nearly bedtime. Aha! 
I'm the happy pirate from the pirate book. <laughs> Pirates are my favourite because they are funny and they sing happy songs and... Brush their teeth? Yes, brush their teeth. <laughs> are we all ready for World Book Day tomorrow? No. <laughs> my favourite book keeps changing. <laughs> Don't worry, Pepper. You can decide in the morning. Today is World Book Day. Oh, my! What wonderful costumes! Tell us, Pedro, who are you? I'm the hunter from Little Red Riding Hood. He's strong and brave and kind to old ladies. Very good. And I am Dogbeard the Sailor from the adventures of Dogbeard the Sailor. And why is he your favourite? Because he's strong and brave. And I think he might be kind to old ladies, too. Excellent. I'm an old lady. So you are, Candy. But are you not also a witch? Yes, so be careful or I might turn you into a frog. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Edmund? You have come as... The big number from Mummy Pig's book. <laughs> 476,859,312. Oh, what an amazing choice. Ah, George, you are dressed as... Dinosaur. <laughs> but where is Pepper? Here I am. Ooh. What book are you, Pepper? I am all my favourite books. I have fairy wings, a pirate hat, Aha! a red monkey tail, and quack quack duck feet. <laughs> You're a fairy pirate monkey duck. <laughs> Peppa loves World Book Day. Everyone loves World Book Day. Made up musical instruments. Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. Today, children, we will be playing musical instruments. Hooray! <laughs> I'm going to play the tambourine. I'm going to play the recorder. I'm going to play the triangle. <laughs> we are not playing those musical instruments today. What? We will make our own musical instruments. But we can't make musical instruments. We're children. I am not asking you to make a piano or a trumpet, Peppa. We will be making musical instruments from all of these bits and bobs. Bottles and rubber bands. <coughs> Balloons and yogurt pots. Music can be made from anything that makes a sound. Ah! How do you usually make sound with a musical instrument? You hit it with a stick. You blow into it, like this. Or you shake it. <laughs> yes! Now, let's see what sounds you can make from these things. The children are going to make musical instruments. This box sounds like a drum. Oh, this is not a very good drum. Ah, but what happens if you add rubber bands? It's the same. Try plucking those rubber bands instead of hitting the box. Oh, it's not a drum at all. It's a twanger. <laughs> Susie has some bottles. These make a sound if you tap them with a pencil. Yes, and if I put different amounts of water into the bottles... Now try it. The water makes the bottle sound different. That's right, Susie. You can also blow across the bottle tops to get a sound. <laughs> You're making music. Wow! George has a bucket. Oh! Blowing on the bucket does not make music. Let's put some water in your bucket, George. <laughs> Here is a straw. <gasps> George is making bubbly music. I'm going to make music with a shaker, some beans and marbles. There! Oh, wonderful shaking music, Peppa. It 
goes very well with George's bubble music. <laughs> Freddy Fox has a balloon. <laughs> very funny, Freddy. What instrument will you make, Madam Gazelle? This is my favourite made-up musical instrument. Madam Gazelle has a musical instrument made out of drinking glasses. Do you blow them like my bottles? No. Do you hit them with a stick? No. Do you shake them? No. I play them with my fingers. have arrived to collect the children. Oh, you are just in time to listen to our made-up musical orchestra. It's made out of bits and bobs. Ooh. Ooh. Children, I will start and then you join in. The parents like made-up musical instruments. Everybody likes made-up musical instruments. Bird spotting. It is a lovely sunny day at Peppa's house. Granny and Grandpa Pig have come to visit. Hello, everyone. I like your funny hat, Grandpa. Thank you, Peppa. Today I'm doing a bit of bird spotting. What's bird spotting? It's Grandpa's latest little hobby. I suppose it keeps him happy. Uh, yes. I look for birds, and when I spot them, I tick them off in my book. Look, this is a robin redbreast. I spotted one in my garden. Ooh! Of course, what I'd love to spot is a very rare bird, like a cuckoo. Never mind, Grandpa. I'm sure you will one day. Yes. In fact, I was um, actually hoping to do a bit of bird spotting before lunch, if that's OK. No problem. Lunch won't be ready for ages. Grandpa, can George and me go bird spotting too? Of course you can, Peppa. <laughs> oh, oh, we'll call you when lunch is ready. The best place to spot birds is where there are trees. Birds like trees. Um, but there aren't any birdies here, Grandpa. Ah, but I know a clever trick. We pretend to be a bird. <whistles> then hopefully a bird will hear our call and fly here. Look, Grandpa, a birdie. Ah, yes. That is a sparrow. A good start. Here are Mr Stallion and Mrs Corgi. Ah, Grandpa Pig. I see you're doing some bird spotting. Yes. Us too. We've just spotted one of our rarest birds in the world. A ribbon-tailed bird of paradise. Amazing to find one this far north. Well done. I spotted a sparrow. Oh, yes. A common sparrow. Well done, you. See you later. Bye. Now, um, let's do some more bird calls. I can do a duck. Quack, quack. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. <laughs> uh, I wonder if there's a duck in my book. Mrs Duck must be in your book. She is very special. Of course she is. <laughs> ah, here we go. A duck. And George can do a pigeon. Do your pigeon, George. <laughs> Look, Grandpa, pigeons. Uh, they seem to have left pigeons out of my book. How are you doing, Grandpa Pig? Spotted any rare birds? Um, we saw a duck and some pigeons. Uh, and I have high hopes of spotting a cuckoo. Peppa, George, Grandpa, lunch is ready. Oh, goody. Bye. A cuckoo, you say? How were you planning on spotting a cuckoo? Oh, you know, uh, I was just going to call cuckoo. <laughs> My goodness, it worked. Well done, old chap. 
Kukku! It's inside the house. Oh, that is not a real cuckoo. That is Peppa's toy cuckoo clock. Sorry to barge in like this, but Grandpa Pig has heard a cuckoo. You're in here somewhere. But Grandpa... Quiet, everyone. We don't want to scare the cuckoo away. <coughs> ah! Oh, it's a cuckoo clock. That means I can't tick it off in my book. But, Grandpa, my cuckoo clock is very special. It certainly is. I think you should tick it off. I would if it was me. Uh, what does everyone else think? Strictly speaking, it's... OK, if everyone thinks it's fair... Hooray! <laughs> Grandpa Pig loves bird spotting. Everybody loves bird spotting. <laughs>